lesson 20, belly dance, how to do a three-quarter chimney. So basically your three-quarter chimney is mostly used for walking, but you can totally use it in place, right? You can do it in place. It's a three-quarter chimney. So this consists of three things. You're going to lift, drop one side of the hip, and then you're gonna shift weight and bump to the side. So it's a three thing, right? That's why it's called three quarter. Up, down, bump to the side and you shift the weight. Up, down, bump to the side and shift the weight. Up, down, bump to the side, shift weight. Up, down, bump to the side, shift weight. Okay, so you're basically shifting the weight when you're hitting side bump, right? When you're hitting side bump. So if you feel in here, well, first of all, let's talk about foot position. Your heels should be about an inch apart and then your toes slightly open at about two inches apart, right? Like just gently turning out. This is to get better care of your knees, okay? So if you hit to one side, you're gonna notice that the side that you are hitting, you have most weight on that foot. And when you hit to the other side, your weight, so you're still standing on both feet, but one of your heels should feel more weight, more pressure, okay? So I want you to feel that. As you shift, you should be feeling more weight on your heels. For the three-quarter chimney, is the same as the other belly dance positions. You do not want to have your butt out like this. Also, you do not want to overly have your chest lifted like that. It's more of a neutral. You're still straight, shoulders relaxed, but your chest is neutral. It's just, it's just gracefully lifted, but not like that. Your butt is not pushing out. Also, it's not tucked in like ballet. It's just gently pointing down. So not complete tuck, is like a gentle tuck, right? Like just slightly down. So. Both heels are down. We are going to lift the heel. You're gonna bend both of your knees just as soon as they are unlocked, and then the side that you're gonna begin is gonna be more bent. Lift up this hip, the one that is bent and your heel is peeled. Lift up, drop down, same leg. Now you're gonna shift completely the weight to this leg, putting the heel down, boom. As you put the heel down, you're gonna peel off the heel on this leg. Lift up this hip, up. Now drop the hip, not the heel, just the hip. Boom, and shift the weight there. As soon as you shift it, this heel goes down, boom. Okay, again, lift up. This heel should have peeled already. Up, down, heel remains up. Shift, place down the heel, lift this heel. Up, down, shift the weight, put the heel down. So basically, the hip that is doing the movement, when you go up, down, your heel is up. Up, down, heel down. Up, down, heel down. Up, down, heel down. So whatever you're shifting to the side, your heel should be down. I'm gonna do it from the back, okay? So you look at my heels. Bend down, start with this side, up, you're peeling the heel, down, the heel remains up and the hip goes down. Hit over there your hips, changing the weight and heel down. Boom, at the same time this heel lifts, so you're releasing it to move your hip, hip up, then hip down, boom. Shift the weight, place the heel down and shift the heels, boom. Okay, so very important that you realize that when we shift, we're not lifting right away, okay? It's one, two, three, and four is a shift. One, two, three, one, two, three, shift, one, two, three. There's like a mini pause, right? But what I'm trying to say is, <laughs> as soon as you shift and drop the heel, I don't want you to drop it and try to lift the other hip. There, they have to happen in the, independently, right? Up, down, shift. Up, down, shift. So, how does the chimney happen? You just do this at a speed. 
right? Like up, down, chip, up, down, chip, up, down, chip, up, down, chip, up, down, chip. <laughs> That's what you're doing. So you're kind of pointing, you, you step forward as, as you do this instead of being in place. So practice first in place, but I'm going to teach you how to do a walking, then you can add that. There are small steps for your quarter shimmy. Usually, I mean, you can do big ones like that, but usually they're tiny so that you can appreciate the shimmy, right? So, how are you going to do it? When you do up and down, since your foot is already lifted, that's when you're stepping. You're giving your step, stepping forward a little bit, and you go up, down, and you shift. Boom. Now, this heel peels off when you shift the weight. You're going to bring it forward slightly up down shift then you step forward up down shift up down shift up down shift up down shift important thing don't bounce up and down you should not be going up and down you should be able to control your body where the work is just done by the feet and the hips okay and that's it guys for how to do a three quarter chimmy and if you're liking my content subscribe to my channel um if you have some requests let me know and i'll see you guys in another video bye